thinking of what to do today and a lot of you have asked me before what board do I ride and actually I ride a few different boards but the most the board I ride the most is the boosted board so I thought I'd do a quick review on this boosted board not that there's not probably a lot of them out here already but why not put mine out there got a pretty quick charge time all the wiring is like inside the board itself for the batteries and it, it's really cool it's a slick design it's for, like I said it's pretty lightweight the battery is right here it charges fairly quick which is awesome awesome this is a very quick review by the way another great thing about the boosted board I mean it looks great it's awesome it's got awesome grip tape it's good the wheelbase on it seems to be a little narrower than some of the other boards I've rode which might affect your handling some or whatever I I don't know I, it doesn't really I haven't really noticed it I seem to be fine <laughs> There's a couple more things I wanted to mention, which I actually did. I just must have forgot to record yesterday or something. One of the great things I like about this boosted board is the remote. I have ran quite a few different boards, and the boosted board actually has a safety switch. And I'm sure there's a couple more out there, which would be great. I can't, I, I'm sure there is. I haven't tried them all, but I've tried a few. Like another major competitor is the Evolve board. That does not have a safety switch so you, if you are going and you leave your board on and you just throw the remote in your pocket your board's gone and if you're by the lake you're by the ocean you're by any kind of water you're by a bridge or whatever goodbye board that is not good or you just put it in your pocket and you're standing on it and you get hurt uh, that's not good also a lot of other boards like the evolve board like i just mentioned uh to put it in reverse they have a led or a screen and you have to push the buttons and then you can see it going to reverse the boosted you just pull this little wheel back, goes in reverse. Push it forward, you go forward. Love it, love it. Now, a few of the quick specs on this thing is, it goes like 22, 23 miles an hour. It has a range of like seven, eight miles, unless you have the extended battery, then it's like 14, 15 miles, which it should come with the extended range battery, but it doesn't. Now, I know this is a Gen 2 board, I know that the Stealth and the Mini just came out and everything, but honestly, they say the Stealth is faster. It's what, two miles an hour faster? Uh, it's black. <laughs> it's, they say it excels a little faster. I don't know. For the price, I'm not going to run out there and get one. Um, there is a lot cheaper boards out there on the market now, I've seen. There, I mean, there's some that are under 400 There's some even under 300 that look pretty decent. I'm going to probably get a couple here in the future and give them a test, give you a review, see what I think. And I have the boosted so I can compare it to that. And this board is extremely expensive. And that's, yeah. I just wanted to add this in real quick. And yeah, I don't know why I didn't hit record. I, I do these, I do these things. I don't know why. Let me show you what I don't like about the board right now. All right, now, now for the bad things about the boosted. It's, there's a few things I don't like. I mean, one is the charger is still kind of big and bulky and you gotta have your backpack to carry it around if you need to charge it. I mean, with today's technology, I'm pretty sure they could make that thing smaller by now. I mean, come on. Second, it does not come with the extended battery pack. And for what you pay for these boards, it should definitely come with the extended range battery. You gotta pay like another $400 for that thing. I think I've seen it on sale for 200, but I'm pretty sure right now it's 400. <clears throat> and my number one biggest pet peeve and the only thing that I absolutely hate about the boosted board is simply the price. This thing is so overpriced. It's extremely expensive. It's like 
$1,500, give or take. This is a Gen 2 board. I'm sure it's still that much money, and there's a big ass oh, pothole. But yeah, that is the biggest thing. By the time you get the extended range battery and all that stuff, you got almost $2,000 into this board, and that's, that's ridiculous. Come on, Boosted. Way too much money. But that's it for your extremely short and maybe not too detailed Boosted board review. If you want to know something about it and I didn't, that I didn't mention, just ask me in the comments below and I will answer it to the best of my knowledge. I ride this thing everywhere. I got, I have no idea how many miles I have on it, but it's a lot. Did I mention how fun it is to ride though? Oh, just a quick note. There is like a lot of other cheaper boards hitting the market that look a lot like the Boosted with the flex board and everything else, you know, the bamboo board and everything. I don't have any of those yet, but I might go buy a couple. I've seen some for under $300 even, or under $400 for sure. So I might get a few of those and try one out. If you got one that you recommend, let me know in the below because those are much more affordable. You can buy like three, four of those things for the price of one of these. Actually, I think I seen one of the, the max speed on it was like 26 miles an hour too. That's faster than the boosted. We'll check it out. Hope you enjoyed this review. This camera gets really heavy to hold after a while. <laughs>